Flat design gets a bad rap. While some of the most recognisable logos in history are flat, or usually shown in a single colour, whenever a brand makes the switch to flat design, it will always come under a certain level of scrutiny, even if it doesn't really deserve the backlash. With more and more car brands making the switch, this has highlighted which brands have strong logos. Sometimes flat design works just fine, but for others, it completely backfires. But while simply going flat is seen as being controversial, there are some very good reasons for this. The short answer could simply be Tesla, a company that sits in the top 10 for market caps on the Nasdaq, for now anyway, with a valuation going as high as 1.2 trillion at its peak in 2021. And despite the drop in market cap, it's still the highest valued car manufacturer. Established in 2003 by two people who weren't Elon Musk, the initial pitch of Tesla was a car manufacturer that is also a technology company, which could also give an indication of why its value is so high. Tech companies have been known to have sky-high valuations despite losing money hand over fist. The likes of Uber, Lyft, Airbnb and Twitter were highly valued despite rarely turning a profit. Tesla doesn't produce anywhere near the amount of vehicles as other car manufacturers that are also more profitable, and all their models are sold at a premium, which means they have a smaller market to sell to as well. But Despite the low amount of cars they produce, they are valued much higher than the competition. And that's including all the controversies of cars bursting into flames, constant production delays, lawsuits about working conditions, ongoing issues with self-driving software, but again, the stock is still highly valued. One thing Tesla gets right is how it changed everyone's perception on electric vehicles. EVs had existed for years before Tesla's first model was even launched, but they were small city cars that would just make it to the end of your driveway before running out of juice, like the G-Wiz. But Teslas were stylish high-end vehicles that resemble Aston Martins. Later EVs were better, but they weren't striking or good looking. No one was aspiring to own a Nissan Leaf or Peugeot Ion, so these rebrands are an indication that the manufacturers want to change the perception of their own brand. Tesla's original logo felt more like a traditional car logo, but the ugly chrome effects, shield and odd font pairing have since been dropped. The updated version is flat and feels more like a tech company. It definitely felt like an outlier when put next to other car brands. Until now. But Tesla also has something else, which is Musk. To many, Elon Musk is a genius billionaire inventor who claims to build the new version of subways and plans to send humans to Mars. It's pie in the sky thinking for sure, but this vision for the future and the cult of personality is what the investors are buying into. But only time will tell if this is going to last. He has done a lot to torpedo his own reputation in recent years. Tesla forced the hand of car manufacturers to make their own EVs. Their image looked dated next to Tesla, so instead of feeling like dinosaurs, they've jumped on the bandwagon, remaking their image as to appear more forward-thinking with a push towards electric vehicles. There are a number of EV manufacturers from China and America that have high valuations. Some of these companies have yet to even break into the mainstream. If you look down the list of highest market caps for car manufacturers, there are a lot of familiar names, but in the top 20, there are a few brands that most people have never even heard of. Some have been founded as recently as 2015, and they have higher market caps than established car brands like Tata, Suzuka, Volvo, Subaru and Renault. Like Tesla, these logos feel less like traditional car brands, as the logos are simple designs without any chrome effects or drop shadows. The fonts feel more futuristic, like something that belongs on the front cover for Mass Effect, so the brands feel more forward-thinking and futuristic in comparison. Another trend we're seeing with these redesigns is kind of going in the opposite direction. Instead of flattening the existing logo, brands are reviving logos from the past. We've seen this with French brands like Peugeot, Renault and Citroën. Each brand has a long history of manufacturing cars, so while they do want to appear modern and innovative, they're tapping into their heritage, an indication they've been around for over a century and will continue to move with the times. Citroën even put forward a working concept car that is made of recycled cardboard, a step further than simply making another slick looking electric car concept. The move to electric vehicles makes perfect logical sense, but I actually like to spend my Friday nights reading press releases. One of the earliest car logos to go flat was Mini, all the way back in 2015. Their reasoning is as straightforward as it gets. Simply put, the new logo is the 3D logo, but now 2D, saying it imitates no material and no existing form, but stands on its own. Plus it's more usable across multiple formats. It honestly sounds like what you'll hear in an introduction to logo design class. Although, this is one of the badges where going flat makes the logo feel more basic. Another straightforward explanation can be seen with VW. The logo you see on the front of the car is now the logo you see across all touch points. It's more versatile and can be easier to identify. Audi and Dacia also made mention of creating a new identity system that is much more flexible and simplified compared to the previous one. There is no unnecessary excess to these logos. If it's a perfectly acceptable solution for all of these logos, it can work for car logos too. Some brands have been a bit more on the nose regarding electric vehicles. Skoda had one of the more radical updates, introducing a flat badge, wordmark and vision for the brand. 
One of the most telling parts was the colour scheme, as they chose two colours that people would associate with sustainability. Colour schemes are another part of these identities that are being established by brands like Skoda, VW, Audi, Dacia and Opel, as they each have their own distinctive colour schemes now. One brand that was less positively received was Nissan. Similar to Mini, the flattened logo only seems to highlight how unremarkable the logo is. Their press release made clear mention of updating the badge so it would look decent on the front of electric vehicles, plus making the logo more digital friendly as well. I'm noticing a pattern here. Nissan is very much focusing on the future and it even sounds like they're aiming to move away from being purely a vehicle manufacturer. But perhaps the best reasoning for going flat is BMW. Since they've dropped the black ring from their logo, they gave us this gem. We want to use the new transparent version to invite our customers more than ever to become a part of the world of BMW. The new logo and brand design symbolise the brand's significance and relevance for mobility and driving pleasure in the future. So cherry picking press releases aside, there is no definitive reason why these car companies are moving towards flat design, but a lot of these car manufacturers felt dated. They really needed something fresh to update their image, even if the results are mixed overall. Seeing an image of a bunch of car logos makes for an eye-catching tweet, but it really doesn't tell the whole story. Did the previous brand feel dated? Did the brand have an image problem? Were they ever considered popular with younger generations? The vision of the future is what's important here, but the flat logos are catching all the headlines instead. VW is aiming to overtake Tesla as the number one electric car brand, so VW really needed to refresh its brand to feel more modern. And above all, not all flat design is bad. Providing the brand had a strong logo, going flat can actually improve the design. In particular with VW, Audi, Toyota and Aston Martin. I know they are seen as being controversial, but some of these logos look better in a single colour. But even a bad logo can look great on the front of a car. The new BMW logo is an example of a redesign that didn't quite work, while other redesigns work really well. Cadillac's new logo also got flattened in their rebrand, and on the front of the cars, it looks great. Some brands have gone in a different direction entirely, but have been lumped in with going flat. While Kia and Dacia have problems with legibility and both aren't perfect, for me these new logos and brands are vastly superior to the previous ones. Does anybody truly look back on the previous Kia logo fondly? For me, while not all of these logos work, some of these rebrands are absolutely a step in the right direction. And if a new brand makes me want to pay attention to Dacia and Skoda, then mission accomplished.